as good as Windows 8 is, there's definitely a significant room for improvement. So I think we're going to be seeing a um, update Windows 8.1 or Windows 8.5 or something like that in the near future. So in this video, I'm just going to be going over my thoughts on that. Alright, the first one is faster modern UI loading times. Simple little applications like Xbox Video and first party and third party apps like the weather and Google search, they're just ridiculously slow. And I really don't know why. Even on fast computers, they take a good 10 seconds to start up at times. So, lighter weight, obviously, um, You've heard complaints with the Microsoft Surface tablet that uh, you get the 32 gigabyte Surface and then you only have like 16 gigs free. So they need to work on that. You don't see Android or iOS taking up 16 gigabytes of space. That, that just doesn't happen. Um, the next one's kind of big. And it, I, I, before I would even consider getting a Windows 8 tablet or a Windows RT tablet, they need to roll this update out and that's get rid of the desktop app with touchscreen devices specifically tablets because um it really just doesn't work I've tried I've played with some Windows 8 tablets and the modern UI just flies on it it's incredible but as soon as I'm pulled out of that experience and put into the familiar era or whatever you'd want to call the desktop experience it just it sucks it really does it really really does so they need to fix that uh, custom modern UI tiles and wallpapers. Obviously those can be achieved as you can see with uh, my start screen I have both of those but uh, I needed third-party applications to uh, get those which I'll link to in the description of course if you wanna play around with those. Desktop apps in the modern UI task switcher and modern UI apps in the desktop taskbar. Uh, the Desktop and modern UI feel really segregated with, uh, as you can see, when you go to the side, you only get the modern apps, and when you go down to the desktop bar, you only get the desktop apps. But if you do a Control-Alt-Tab and bring up that app switcher, you get both. And that's really what it should be from the desktop and the app switcher. That would make the whole experience just on a whole nother level. It really would. And this next one's a big one. So charms are a really, I think they're cool because it gives you this familiar experience throughout the whole operating system. So when, whatever application you're in, you instantly know how to get to the search button and how to get to the, the settings. But those only work with modern apps. And when you pull that up from the desktop, you just get uh, desktop settings and stuff. So they should really uh, be specific to whatever app you're, you have on your desktop. So I think that'd be cool. So uh, tell me what you think. Uh, do you agree with me? Do you disagree with me? Do you respect my opinion? Do you hate my opinion? Just tell me all that fun stuff in the comments. Thank you. Bye.